Bleach is interesting because they regulate bleach in the water supplies as a carcinogen, but they don't regulate it in the food starch. I'm going to run through very quickly just the chemicals that they use in this modification. You really need to know this. One chemical they use is called sodium trimetaphosphate. This has been linked to kidney stress and vascular calcification. It may worsen bone demineralization and accelerate aging process in arteries. Here's another one, vinyl acetate. Vinyl acetate is considered a possible human carcinogen. Here's another one, sodium hypochlorite. This is bleach. Bleach is interesting because they regulate bleach in the water supplies as a carcinogen, but they don't regulate it in the food starch. Overexposure is linked to kidney stress and damage to your enamel and mucosal tissues. And then they add this other chemical. This is widely used in infant formulas and beverages. It may disrupt mitochondrial function if consumed in excess. So here's the point. All of those chemicals I just mentioned are self-regulated under something called GROSS, which is generally recognized as safe. And so the question is, how can it actually be safe if it's not even tested for long-term studies? And so you don't have to really wonder why we have chronic disease. If we look at this, okay, we have 16 grams of total carbohydrate, we have one gram of fiber, and we have zero grams of sugar. What is left? We have 15 grams of a carbohydrate that is not listed on this nutritional facts. And that is why starch is invisible. You don't see it unless you read the ingredients and understand that modified food starch, modified corn starch, wheat starch are all industrial starches. It's basically extra damaged protein that clogs everything up. It's directly responsible for the complications of diabetes and also the Alzheimer's plaquing in the brain, and also the fibrosis or scar tissue in your liver.